Hey guys, Kat Kerr, and today we're going to be talking about stenciling, monoprinting, and image transfers. Three things I absolutely love to do. Now, one of my favorite things to do has to be monoprinting with my gel press plate, and I especially love using my stencils to create fun and textured backgrounds. Creating textured backgrounds with your gel press plate is super easy. You're adding acrylic paint, pressing your stencils, adding some more acrylic paint, and then pulling a print. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. To create even more texture, add acrylic paint through your stencil and then press your original background onto the plate. Now I'm a more is more kind of girl and here I'm adding even more texture using another one of my stencils, but I went a little crazy with this color. Now once that explosion of color happened and it dried, I added some ivory just to tone it down a little bit. Now by this point I'm super happy with the background and I'm going to cut it up and mount it onto a clay board. Next I remove the excess adhesive on the back and then once it dries I use a small blade to cut off the excess paper. Now I like to add my focal uh, once the background is completed. And so here I've selected uh, some images from an old yearbook that I have, as well as uh, some text from the yearbook. Now this text really caught my attention. It was under the description, you know how each photo has a description of each person, but this one read, Shishi, there's devilment in those eyes. Itsy bitsy wee bear. Speed swimming, y'all come crazy. <laughs> Wish I had that on my yearbook. I outlined the pages as well as adding some ink to the edges of the board and this piece is done. Now something else I love to do, image transfers, but they can be a little tricky. Here I'm using an old text of bird illustrations and these, these images seem to work fine. So I'm just adding a layer of black fluid paint and then I'm pressing my image face down, lightly rubbing it, and then I pull that off and I'm left with the image on the plate. Now something else I love to do is I love to add my stencils to these already book illustration transfers. And it's so easy to do. You just let that one layer dry of the image transfer and then you go and use, I'm using the same black acrylic fluid paint and I'm using my stencils to add additional texture to this transfer. Now, if you ever want to check your image, just lift the plate, take a look, and see if you need to add some more stenciling. Now, once I'm happy with the image on the plate, I go ahead and add a good layer of acrylic paint, add the paper, press down firmly, and pull a print. I'm not gonna lie, I get giddy every time I pull a print. Now you don't have to start with the image transfer on the bottom layer. You can actually start with your textured stenciled background. And here I'm just creating a, a stencil background just like I did before. Um, but this time I'm going to add the image transfer on top of that. So I just add some black fluid acrylic paint, add an image, and then press my background into that image so that image transfer is actually the top layer. So yeah, I can spend all day stenciling and monoprinting and doing image transfers and it's just a lot of fun. And I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and I especially hope that you check out my new stencils over at stencilgirlproducts.com. Thanks for watching.